All right guys, Papa Pepper back once again here at the Abundant Harvest Homestead. Uh, lately I have been cleaning up my channel a bit. I've got a long way to go because there's a lot of just random goofy short clips and different things in my uh, channel history from when I first started. Because when I first came online in 2016, I was just taking pictures and uploading short videos to include and post on Steemit. And I wasn't really trying to, you know, create YouTube videos per se. Um, in doing so, I'm coming across a lot of interesting footage from way back in the day that shows a lot of our land before we really progressed very much. So I'm gonna show you a short clip where I'm working on a skid steer. The area I'm working in is right back here behind me. I think this tree here is gonna be in there pretty good. I'm not sure what else is gonna be kind of the same, but this is one of the big areas that I've gotta work on some organization. is to build a big lean-to off the side of the shipping container and um, clean up kind of some of that area have a whole series of shelves and just dry storage space I can put things underneath here and um, you know that's the plan we're not there yet then I also found a really cool video of this coming down it's like a 20 second clip but it's me being very excited we were getting our shipping container all right guys Papa Pepper here down on the land if you can see I got a new friend, new friend coming. It's a shipping container. Get some storage down on the land. Steam bag dollar powered, guys. We'll see what's doing. Before that, we'd been paying for storage at a rate of like $75 a month for one of the storage units. Those are a way that a lot of people pay a lot of money often to house for years a lot of junk that they don't need. So we were very happy to have some on-site storage and I still have more than enough resources and materials and things for my family that it doesn't hold at all, which is part of the reason I gotta do some cleanup, do some additional storage building stuff, put the lean-to on here and work on some other stuff. But it was just so crazy to see this way back in the day and how different it is. So this will just be a little overview from kind of, I think that these trees, well obviously it's still there, it hasn't grown up in that time, but that tree would have been there. I was working on a pile of stuff here. To uh, level out the ground there. And then it was before this whole area out here past the funnel ball, we put a septic uh, system, the drain, the leach field out in over here. So all this was still kind of thickly wooded too. So kind of crazy to see. And speaking of thickly wooded, you guys got to see this other area. So yeah, speaking of the bigger messes, I found this video too, and I think it was shot from about this location. Um, I'm gonna roll some of it and then show you a couple things and interrupt it a couple times. All right guys, Papa Pepper here. Good morning, how you doing? Um, I'll tell you what, yesterday you guys might've saw I made a big mess. Had this guy over here, front end loader, with the backhoe attachment. I was able to dig down around some trees and then push him over. And uh, then I was trying to clean up my mess. And the problem with cleaning up your mess is that, uh, well, for one, I didn't have one of these. A chainsaw, but a buddy of mine just dropped this off, so I'm good to go today. And uh, here's a little bit of what I'm dealing with. So we've got some bigger ones here some hickory and uh, actually I started yesterday taking branches off cutting up some uh, shorter sections but all that was actually done with an axe pruning shears and a, uh, a pruning handsaw so again that big tree there I will kind of highlight in the video but that's kind of what it looks like to that big tree there so my hands a little 
a little beat up today. Got some blisters where it was bleeding, stuff like that. Added some to the top of my piles. Those two brush piles are still there. Here's one, here's the other. This is just some big lumbrel cut up. That's some firewood stuff there, but they've compacted a bit, but we also did burn some, but that brush pile there and the brush pile there center screen were ones from that video. This one here, center screen, you can see in the video quite a bit. But we got a, we got our work cut out for us. As usual, making the mess is kind of the easier part. And then uh, cleaning it up is more difficult, so. I'd say, oh, well, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big trees and a pile of medium sized ones. Like I said, that's the house site there, back from over there. Uh, this is part of the driveway. And then here's where I want to run the mobile home. I mean, just look at the difference now. I mean, this whole area was just tore up with all those trees. And some of the only ones that still exist would be those guys, that one, this big one here. That way you can hook up the power, hook it up the water, hook it up the septic, and go from there. So I've got my work cut out for me. This is going to be a shorter video. I've got a chainsaw now, so I don't have to make that with a handsaw anymore. But I got it pretty good and cleaned up. I mean, I was working until I couldn't see anymore last night. You can see a lot of this stuff is really ready for a chainsaw right now. I won't have to uh, deal with cutting off too many little branches, stuff like that, because I'm pretty much ready to go. And then I'll be just moving it, so. All right, guys, just part of what we're working on for life right now. Hopefully, what month is it? March? By the end of April, it'd be really nice to be down here in this thing, but I'm thinking at least at least May. Let's Let's get ourselves down here. So I just found this other video from back in the day too where I was working on the uh, the road base for my driveway. Um, again, it's really a lot of moving and shaking in my camera footage. I didn't just set it up still like this and, you know, have it be nice and like that. So I might slow it down to like 0.75 speed or something. So maybe my voice will be a little lower and slower but I think it's worth it for you guys who are interested in seeing some of our progress. And um, I'll put some of the dates on these videos too of when they were uploaded. I'm not sure exactly when they were shot, but I was usually doing stuff and then uploading it later. So it's gonna be pretty much real time um, when I give you the date that would have been when it happened. But there's a couple things going on that's, that's worth looking at. All right guys, Papa Pepper here. So far so good. Getting some uh in my road basin today. Actually, uh, there goes my guy. He's taking care of me. If you watch there where the guy pulled away, you know, all this was just field. There's a lot of five gallon buckets of rocks. I got to work into some of these uh, rock pillar fences soon enough. But, you know, a lot has changed. Even just running a fence and doing some other thing has changed over there. And uh, not only See, we got all of this first load of road base in. And I still got to grind some stumps and do some stuff back on the house site and around the, around the turn where the tractor is up there. But we're getting started here. And uh, it's Tuesday right now. I got today and tomorrow to get some work done. And then about 2 in the morning on Thursday, taking off for Wisconsin. So this is all a downward slope. So I tried scraping it a little bit here without digging down. Because in here I'm going to run a 40 foot uh, shipping container. Use it for some storage and other things. I mean, I'm still paying for a uh, for a storage unit. And, uh, you know, a shipping container you buy once and even if it takes you a long time to make the uh, make up on what you would have spent on the uh, storage unit, you still got a shipping container when you're done. So, the problem is, is it's quite a slope, kind of deep here. And uh, this guy was nice enough to say, you know what, if you're just building this up to make it flat, he said, why don't I go get you some creek gravel? He says it'll be half the price. He says you can get twice as much for the same price. He says, if you want it to look pretty when you're done, you know, throw some of this stuff over the top. And uh, just appreciate that because, uh, you know, not everyone's going to do that to you. A lot of times people are going to rip you off. They're going to take advantage of you. 
they're going to just uh, get whatever they can from you. But this guy is, you know, won't do twice as much work. You know, he's going to make two trips instead of one to get me something cheaper that'll help me out even more. So uh, he actually just complimented us and said uh, he sure appreciates working with us up here because we're all friendly and sensible. So that was a kind of cool compliment there. So this is starting to shape up, guys. A couple months ago, Grandpa Pepper and I were chopping down these trees, working on clearing this spot, you know, and now we're starting to get get a road in and this whole thing is going to be my driveway. It'll be nice and wide, long enough for cars to come up here and cars to park at an angle there. In case we have a lot of people over sometimes they can still back out and go, so. Some of these brush piles here are the same exact ones you'll see in that video. Um, this stuff was reorganized. I forget how it all was in the video, but I had to move some and do some different stuff. Got that up, and some of this is still from then. That's why I'm glad to have the roofing tin on top. Hopefully we'll be able to burn some this winter in our house when I get the uh, wood stove going. So over time here, this road base has held up pretty well. You can still see it all the way out, and you can see that brown spot there right underneath the skull. That's where it mostly washes out, so I add some creek gravel in there periodically. I know that part there was really choppy, but that's kind of how this whole little stretch used to look. Was just bare earth, pretty much, once I cleared it out. And then, like I said, here's a pile of my resources. I'll have to get sorted through. Glad to have them, but don't want them just out here perishing in the sun. And this gives you a look across here, so... Shipping container. I mean, obviously it's been uh, kind of cleared out since then, but also that was all raw, and then I kind of filled it in with a pile of stuff. Here's a look now down the driveway, kind of compared to then. So sometimes in this life, in, in the struggles of just getting everything done, and kind of all these challenges of not knowing how to do things and having to learn and figure it out. Like when I moved here, I didn't know how to run a skid steer. I didn't know how to run a tractor, work a backhoe attachment, any of that. I'm rather familiar with that stuff now. Been blessed to be able to learn those skills and enjoy um, just making the progress on this stuff. So I do find encouragement though as I'm able to head back and some of the stuff I've uploaded over the years and kind of comb back through history and measure some of this in time as I finish, you know, the end of 2020 here. It hasn't been as bad as it feels sometimes. Um, we have made a lot of progress. A lot of work has gone into this and we've been moving forward for a long time. So I definitely uh, appreciate the fact that I did make these videos, did upload the stuff that you guys are interested in it now. Um, let me know if you like this type of stuff too to kind of see how far we've come because I've got some footage from up in the garden and I think over by the chicken area and stuff too that uh, if you guys are interested I can uh, I can show you a then and now comparison I may even get better at it I think there's room for improvement with this one but I wanted to get it out there and, and give you guys a taste of this let you guys see some of this so hopefully you liked it and it blessed you I'll see you next time what do we say bugger Bug out. what do we say Bug out. all right See you later, bugger. Yeah,